wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. How did a real bullet get on I that set? That I have no idea. Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. Is this the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes. Yep. The charge is involuntary manslaughter. That is the lowest degree of homicide that there is. And even though it is homicide, the unjustified, unlawful killing of another person, because this charge is the lowest, the maximum penalty, you ready for this, is 18 months in prison. That's the maximum penalty. Now, knowing Baldwin as I do, and as you probably do, he's not going to plead guilty to this and there'll be a trial and it'll be a monumental media circus. Involuntary manslaughter is showing reckless disregard for the life of another human being. That means that the government believes that it can prove that Baldwin pulled the trigger without regard or whether or not he was shooting a live round or a dummy round. The armorer, the person on the set whose job it was to care for the weapons and to load them with dummy rounds, is also going to be charged with the same crime. And of course, she, the armorer, is exposed to the same maximum penalty. Will he go to jail? Well, ordinarily, a fourth degree crime, one where the maximum penalty is 18 months, indicates no jail time. However, where a human being dies, there is the indication that there ought to be jail time of at least 360 days. That's the rule in almost every state in the union. I don't know if it's the rule in New Mexico. I'm assuming it is because New Mexico adopted what's known as the Uniform Code of Criminal Laws that prevail in nearly all the states.